I'm Vanya Gröger, also known as Nechtan. In this video will be a tutorial for everyone who has little or no experience with blast beats but would like to start. In this video I will cover the very basics of blast beats that are interesting for beginners and I will not talk about advanced playing techniques. If you are interested in that, please click on the link in the description to my blast beat technique tutorial. So, in this tutorial I will show you some very useful exercises that will help you to learn blast beats and in the end I will also talk about some mistakes that beginners often make and how to avoid them. Enjoy! Before you start practicing blast beats you need to know what a blast beat actually is and how it is played. There are various types of blast beats but in this video I will focus on the traditional blast because this blast beat is a good foundation for learning any other blast beat. If you are good at the traditional blast it will be very easy for you to learn any other blast beat. So the traditional blast beat is just alternating your right hand and right foot with the left hand on the snare. The right hand is always on a cymbal, normally the hi-hat or the right cymbal but sometimes also on a crash cymbal. So you start the blast beat by hitting the cymbal with your right hand and the bass drum. And this is followed by a hit on the snare. And then you alternate those two movements like this. Very simple, isn't it? As you can see, the traditional blast beat is very very simple but still it is very hard to play it fast and clean. So here are some exercises that help you to start with a blast beat and to develop it. First of all you will notice that the blast beat is basically just playing single strokes with your hand alternating the right and the left hand. So if you leave out the bass drum it sounds like this. The snare is much louder than the hi-hat and is on the offbeat so it might sound very confusing in the beginning. So you can start by not playing the right hand on a cymbal but by playing the right hand also on the snare. So you practice a, sing a, a very simple snare single stroke roll like this. This is the foundation of the blast beat. In the next step you can start incorporating the bass drum. So you play the bass drum each time you hit the snare with your right hand. Like this. If you feel comfortable with this, you begin with the next step and the next exercise would be to change from the snare to the hi-hat for a few beats and then back, like this. This way you will get used to the weird feeling of the snare being on the offbeat. In the beginning it's uh, very important to start slowly because uh, this is the only way you can get used to how it actually sounds. Because the bass drum as well as the hi-hat or the right cymbal they are much quieter than the snare. The snare is very loud and if you hit the snare always on the offbeat it sounds very unusual for your ears in the beginning. So start slowly to get used to this, to the sound. If you feel comfortable with the exercises, you can start practicing 
only the blast speed for extended periods of time. It is important that you start slowly and only get faster if you feel comfortable. So the traditional blast beat does not only consist of a roll with your hands red, right, left, right, left, but it also consists of a roll between your right foot and your left hand, like this. If you play blast beats and you would like your right hand to be independent and move freely from cymbal to cymbal without stopping the blast beat, it is a very important exercise to also train your foot and your left hand to become independent from the movements of your right hand. So the next exercise is a bit tricky but very very useful. It is like this. In this exercise you lead with your right foot and the left hand follows. It is very hard in the beginning but it pays off later. The last exercise I want to show you is a very simple exercise and basically it consists of just hitting the bass drum at the same time as the snare with your right hand in order to line up your right hand and your right foot like this. If you want to see more useful exercises that will help you developing your blast beats and your double bass, then check out my coordination exercise tutorial. The link is in the description. So now I would like to talk about some mistakes that many drummers make in the beginning when they start with blast beats. And also I would like to talk about how to avoid these mistakes. One of the most common mistakes if you start blast beats is that you start hitting your snare too quietly. The snare sounds very confusing if you hit it loud on the offbeat, so the obvious solution for a beginner sometimes is to just hit it quietly and then you end up doing ghost note blast beats like this. <laughs> So, to avoid this mistake, it is important to start slowly and to always remain conscious of your left hand. Always make sure you hit the snare as hard as you hit the hi-hat with your right hand. One more common mistake is, if you start to play fast too quickly, you may end up playing the snare hits not exactly between the bass drum hits and sometimes you end up playing with both hands at the same time instead of alternating them. Like this. Of course this sounds very crappy and is not tight at all. If you have this problem, play a bit slower and also do the exercise where you alternate the bass drum and your left hand. This exercise is very good in helping uh, when you have this problem. The third mistake I would like to talk about um, is a mistake I also did in the beginning. If you play the blast beat perfectly with your hands but you forget about your foot or don't pay enough attention to your foot, it will start to lag behind, making the whole blast beat sound untied. The best countermeasure for this problem is also the exercise where you alternate your bass drum and your left hand. This way you are forced to focus more on your right foot, so you will probably not forget it. The last mistake I would like to talk about occurs if your hand speed increases much faster than your foot speed. 
In this case, you may may end up playing Blast Beats very fast with your hands, while uh, your foot actually doesn't hit at the same time with your right hand, but starts to play just as fast as possible, but not in, in the right timing. This would sound probably like this. <laughs> Worthless. In this case, you have to practice more with your foot, or you start using blast beats with both feet, like this. So instead of playing every beat that you do with your right hand, with the right foot, you alternate your feet. So you play right hand, right foot, and then right hand, left foot. So each of, your f each of your feet has to do only half of the strokes that your right hand does. So in a bit faster it would sound like this. Many people think that playing the traditional blast beat with one foot is the only way to play it. I think it, uh, the blast beat sounds better up to a certain speed if you play it with one foot, but since for most people the hands can go much faster than the feet, it is just uh, very practical to use both feet. I personally like to play the traditional blast beat with both feet when I play above, let's say, 200 BPM. This way it saves me a lot of stamina and it feels much more relaxed. So that's it. If you're still a beginner at drumming and not only at blast beats, all these exercises might seem very boring to you. In this case, to make it a bit more fun and motivating to play the drums, you can play along to some songs if you like. Of course, if you listen to Bands like Nile, Dark Funeral, Behemoth, Vader, Cryptopsy, Origin, whatever. It will be very frustrating because as a beginner you don't stand a chance at playing along to any of their songs. Instead, it uh, might be very useful to listen to some old black metal bands like for example Dark Throne or Bursum or even the very early albums of Satyricon. They have many songs that are at a very slow and comfortable tempo for beginners and also they feature blast beats over extended periods of times. So these songs may be very good for playing along for a beginner. If you progress a little bit and get a little bit faster you can also try to play along to for example In the Nightside Eclipse by Emperor. So don't start and trying to copy Nile or something because you will just get frustrated. So be patient, practice a lot and give yourself enough time to develop speed. If you rush things you will become just untied and will eventually have to start from the beginning. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video please click the like button, also subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. By the way, this t-shirt is available at my Spreadshirt shop. See you next time. Intro Intro Take 1 Erschrocken, das ist so laut. Ja. Ach so, du hast ja auch keine Ohrschütze. Ja, genau. Ja. So. Also, Take 1. Das kommt als Outro. Das hängen wir, glaube ich, so ganz am Ende nach dem Abspann, hängen wir das nochmal so kurz mhm. an. Na so. ja, gut, so. okay. Ja. Mhm.